Cats mating might look simple to someone just watching. They mate loudly, often, and without much care. The female cat gets pregnant and then has a group of kittens. But the reality is a bit more complicated. In this video, we'll explain how cats make babies. So let's discuss step by step. Number one, is your cat in heat? Female cats that aren't spayed will go into heat known as estrus, and the signs are clear. A kitten can start her first heat as early as three and a half months, so don't wait until six months to spay her. Once a female cat has her first heat, it will keep happening until she mates or is spayed. Here are some signs to look for if you think your cat is in heat. Estrus cycles start when female cats reach puberty, which can be between 4 to 10 months old. When a cat starts, her heat depends on several factors, like the length of the days, the season's spring and summer her weight, age, health, and breed. Cats can go into heat and have kittens at any time of the year if conditions are right. Number 2. How often do cats come into heat? Cats are polyesterous, meaning they can go into heat several times a year. This is different from dogs, which are diesterous and only come into heat twice a year. Female cats usually keep coming into heat until they mate and get pregnant. Estrus lasts about 7 to 10 days, and there are three possible outcomes. The cat mates and becomes pregnant. She usually goes back into heat about 8 weeks after having kittens, typically when they are weaned. The cat mates but doesn't get pregnant, leading to a false pregnancy. She might show signs of being pregnant, like weight gain and increased appetite, but won't have any kittens. She'll go back into heat in about four to six weeks. The cat doesn't mate. She'll come back into heat within one to two weeks, and this cycle can repeat until she mates or the breeding season ends. Number three, signs your cat is pregnant. It's not common to see vaginal bleeding in a cat in heat. The main signs of heat are behavioral. Most cats become very affectionate and demanding. They will rub against people or furniture and constantly seek attention. They may roll on the floor, raise their rear when petted along the back, and become very vocal. These changes can be annoying to owners who might think their cat is ill. Female cats in heat attract male cats. Tomcats that have never been seen before might appear and try to enter the house to mate. Cats in heat will do anything to find a mate, even tearing down screens. If your cat was in heat and had access to a male, there's a good chance she is pregnant. A pregnant cat will show both physical and personality changes, which usually become noticeable about three weeks after mating. Number four, what to do if your cat is pregnant. If your cat is pregnant because you delayed spaying her or a stray cat adopted you, you might be wondering what to do next. Your first big decision is whether to let the pregnancy continue. Pregnant cats can be spayed and the earlier in the pregnancy, the better. This is something to discuss with your family and your veterinarian. Number five, stages of a cat's pregnancy. The development of the embryo is fascinating with scientific names for each stage, but we'll focus on the basics for better understanding. It's more important to grasp the process of development rather than just the names. Number six, caring for your cat during pregnancy. If you've adopted a pregnant stray or your own cat is pregnant, it's important to meet her needs for her health and the health of her kittens. Besides nutrition, Especially for a stray, most of what you provide is similar to what you'd give any cat. Shelter, a place to sleep, a litter box, a scratching post, and toys. Number seven, can cats have kittens by multiple partners? Yes, female cats can get pregnant by multiple partners. In fact, the number of fathers isn't limited to just two males. Queens can have as many partners as there are kittens. For example, if your cat has three kittens, each kitten could have a different father. The process by which cats have kittens by multiple partners is called super fecundation. That said, kittens with the same father can look completely different. 
Tans carry dominant and recessive genes, changing everything from a kitten's eye color to the length of their fur. Female cats are usually sexually mature by around four months old and can have kittens as soon as they enter heat. You'll be pleased to hear that male cats won't care if a litter has kittens from multiple fathers as tomcats rarely stick around for parenthood. Number 8. What should I do to ensure successful breeding? Breeding cats is different from breeding dogs. A female cat can be bred at any time during her heat cycle because cats are induced ovulators. This means that breeding stimulates her ovaries to release eggs. Eggs are only released when sperm is deposited in the reproductive tract. To ensure ovulation occurs, most female cats need 3-4 matings within a 24-hour period. However, studies show that 35-60% of cats in a colony may ovulate on their own. Once ovulation happens, the female cat will usually go out of heat within a day or two. Number 9. Potential Problems in Cat Pregnancy any unusual symptoms during pregnancy should be discussed with your veterinarian. This is an important part of caring for a pregnant cat. While many pregnant cats have no issues, potential problems can arise. Being informed helps you prepare. Number 10, helping your cat through the birth process. You will likely not need to do much during the birth process. Just be there to encourage your cat, acting as a kind of cat doula. You might even wake up one morning to find that your pregnant cat has given birth overnight and is nursing her kittens. However, it's important to recognize potential problems and know what to do if she needs help. After successful breeding, many queens show behavioral changes. Most become more affectionate and seek more attention during pregnancy. In the later stages, the expectant mother will start looking for a clean, quiet place to give birth. A birthing box should be selected and placed in a quiet area, like a closet or a dark corner. The box should be large enough for her to move around, but with low sides so she can see out and you can reach in if needed. Line the bottom of the box with several layers of newspapers or other absorbent material to provide a private space for her and to easily dispose of it after it absorbs the birthing fluids. Number 11. Postnatal Care of Mother Cat and Kittens the first two to three weeks are very important for your mother cat and her newborn kittens. During this time, the kittens should be growing quickly and the mother will show any signs of postpartum issues. Keep them in a quiet area of the house. A separate room is best. Make sure it's warm as cold can be dangerous for newborns. Let the mother cat guide how much attention she wants. If she's been with you for a while, she may enjoy your visits. Number 12, finding homes for the kittens. Finding new homes for the kittens can be either exciting or stressful, depending on how you prepare. You've put in a lot of time, effort, and money caring for the mother and her babies over the past couple of months. Their future happiness depends on you taking the extra time to ensure their new homes are truly great. Finally, remember to have the mother cat spayed if you haven't done that yet. You've taken care of her during her pregnancy, and this is the responsible next step. Number 13, does birth control for cats exist? There are products out there that interfere with a cat's hormonal cycle, but because of the associated health risks, most vets don't recommend them unless absolutely necessary. A far better option is to spay your kitty. Spaying alleviates discomfort and stress from frequent estrus, minimizes hormonally induced behaviors such as urine marking, and helps to prevent some serious health problems like certain cancers and potentially fatal infections of the uterus. If your cat is about to give birth, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Cats Insider.